So today what I'm going to be doing is a quick tutorial about how to create your own clip-in extensions. Excuse the noise in the background. My neighbor seems to be um, cutting their grass. So anyways, let's get started. So today, um, as explained, I'm going to be, I got a question from a, cust a customer, or just an individual who asked if we sold clip-on extensions and we don't. So I had made a suggestion to them to, you know, they can actually buy any type of hair and make their own clip-on extensions. So today this is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be making ours. So what you're going to do is measure the hair to where you want it. Because this is just for an example, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the track. Now, a suggestion that I would make is that when you've cut the tracks off, you might wanna seal the ends of the hair so that um, you won't experience too much shedding from here because the hair will shed as you can see you will get shedding from here so it is recommended that you seal it whenever you cut your tracks you should seal the ends so here is the track, it's just a basic uh, machine wafted track, as you see there. Okay, so I'm just using regular extensions and we're going to get started. So here is my track. Now, I'm going to be using these clips, see, you can find these at your local beauty supply store. They're the snap clips. So this is what we will be using. Now, the idea is that you're supposed to take these little holes that you see here, and you're supposed to sew. So that's what we are going to do. Now, the combs have to be facing, the teeth have to be facing downwards. Oops, there you go. So that they can hook into your hair. So you're going to find where your beards are because usually your beards are on one side. So my beards are on this side, so this is the side that I'm going to sew on. So what I'm going to do is I am going to figure out where I want it. So right here is where I want it. I think that I might do three different um, clips here, the middle and the end. Now, when if trying to use the regular oops, sewing needle for extensions this one right here you will find that when you stick the needle through the hole there are some needles that actually won't go through because the head of the needle is too large this one that I have is actually fairly thin um, or narrow so I it can actually sew right through some of them won't um, you if you find that you have one that doesn't um, go right through, all you can do is use one of these regular sewing needles that you can get at your dollar store or your fabric store, um, one of these, and you can go ahead and sew. So because my needle is fine, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start sewing with the needle that I, I have. So let's get started. All right, so I have my needle positioned where I want it. So I want it about here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't have a knot on this particular one, this particular thread, um, because I knot it a different way. So I'm going to, 
it's not really recommended for you to try to push and these webs are really really strong so it's really hard to get um, a needle through it so what I would recommend doing is instead of going through your your actual um, extensions you may want to go around Sewing through your, your wefts can actually damage them in the long term, so it's probably best for you to just go around. So what I've did is I've I've um, put up a you know a knot, an initial knot, and I'm just going to keep sewing around it until I'm satisfied with how strong the clips are being held. Just keep pushing it through the hole and pull tightly. Some at some point I like to actually knot it and then continue sewing because you don't want your clips to move around. There are actually two holes that you can um, use. I'm only going to be using one, which is the top hole. And I'm going ahead and I'm knotting. I'm gonna go one more time because it looks like I could get one more in there and that's that. So now I'm going to cut the thread off and I actually like to tie double knot it. just cut the thread off like so so you've got your first end tacked down so this is what it actually looks like okay so we're going to do number two There you have it, you have your super easy, cheap, affordable clip-on extension. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.